We now know who the influential Teamsters Union will endorse for president, and that is neither candidate. As CBS's Jared Hill reports, this is the first time in almost three decades that one of the nation's largest unions declined to endorse a candidate. Amid heightened security, yesterday, former President Donald Trump rallied on Long Island, a must-win district for House Republicans in a deeply blue state. We can win New York. Trump vowed to reverse a cap on the state and local tax deduction known as SALT, a cap he created with his 2017 tax cuts law. The former president also promised to visit two cities in Ohio and Colorado, claiming they're under siege by migrants. They're destroying our country. We're getting them out. In Washington, Vice President Kamala Harris slammed Trump's immigration proposals at an event for the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute. They have pledged to carry out the largest deportation, a mass deportation, in American history. How's that going to happen? Massive raids? In a possible blow to the Harris campaign, for the first time since 1996, the Teamsters Union declined to endorse the Democratic presidential nominee, choosing instead to endorse neither candidate. The union released internal polling showing more members support Trump. It's a great honor they're uh, not going to endorse the Democrats. But multiple local chapters of Teamsters have endorsed Harris, including in Michigan. We can't allow Donald Trump to become president. Meanwhile, the FBI says Iranian hackers stole information from the Trump campaign and sent it unsolicited to the Biden campaign before the president dropped out. A former Biden campaign official tells CBS News that material was not used. Jared Hill, CBS News.